Caution, this video is rated not for children by the Laser Corn Broadcasting Commission, which is a real thing. It's got swears and a nuclear explosion, so if you're under 13, don't watch this. Greetings, gamers, and welcome to the latest installment of the YouTube Pocalypse. This one's not the ad Pocalypse. This one's based on the Child Online Privacy Protection Act, the COPPA Pocalypse, or the Child Privacy Pocalypse. That's kind of wordy. I guess you could shorten it to the Child Pocalypse but then it sounds like someone's dropping nukes on playgrounds. I don't know, there's not really a catchy title for this one anyway. So basically the FTC does not want anyone collecting data on children, people under the age of 13. And anytime you visit a site like YouTube, uh, they collect certain data from you from your web browser and they store that data and then they use it to serve you up targeted ads and stuff like that. So the FTC is basically like, hey, you can't do that when it comes to children under 13, which makes sense. So YouTube has the YouTube Kids app and I'm pretty sure that's for kids under 13. And I have to imagine they don't collect data on people logged in uh, under the Kids app. But I think the problem's coming from, you don't have to log into YouTube, obviously, right? You could just go to a video and watch it. So I think the FTC's concern here is that people aren't logged in that are under the age of 13 and are watching kids' video and then having data collected about them. So the FTC fined Google something like $170 million, which if you're Google and you're YouTube, uh, is this really? I mean, that's like kind of a drop in the bucket, right? But anyway, you know, they obviously don't want to get fined anymore. So YouTube has basically now tasked creators with declaring whether or not their content is for children under the age of 13 or not. There's, they're rolling out a new feature where you can either set it channel-wide or on the individual videos, whether your content is for children or not for children. So basically what they're gonna do is if you select that your content is for children, they're gonna take away a bunch of features. Commenting uh, being the biggest one, you won't be able to comment on those videos at all. These videos are also not gonna have personalized ads, so they'll make a lot less revenue. Videos that generate less revenue obviously get pushed down in YouTube's algorithm. Uh, they show up less frequently, linked from other videos and stuff like that. So it will impact the creator a lot and it'll hurt the creator a lot to flag their videos as for children. Now the flip side of that is that if you mark your videos not for children and the FTC decides, yes, they are for children, they can fine you up to $42,000 per video, which I imagine would put a lot of YouTube creators out of business fairly quickly if they had any significant number of videos flagged. For some creators, it would even just be one video. So you can see the dilemma here. Creators of G-rated content either have to mark their videos as for children, take a huge hit to monetization, visibility, and future growth of their channel, or mark them as not for kids and risk the FTC coming after them. Boy, it's a good thing I don't have to deal with any of this. It's not like I, I just remembered, right, the child I had that has started showing up in my videos. <laughs> we need scammers. That could be a problem for me. So it looks like I have some decisions to make here and not just whether or not to censor that F-bomb I just dropped. Um, so let's take a look at what YouTube has listed as kind of the criteria for whether or not a video is aimed at children. So let's see here, things to consider. The subject matter of your video. Thank you, but that is a little vague. I mean, I feel like a lot of subjects could be intended for adults and children, especially in the realm of video games. Next item here, if children are the intended audience. Well, I mean, I could say they're not the intended audience. You guys saw that disclaimer at the beginning of the video. I could say, hey, this is meant for adults, but does the FTC really care? Are they gonna say, you know, we don't care what you intended or what you said. We feel the video is aimed at children. I don't know, they haven't started actually dishing out any fines yet, so it's kind of ambiguous at this point. Next item here, let's see if the video contains child actors or models. Daddy, what are you doing? Need you to stay off camera right now. Love you, buddy. He's adorable. It's bedtime for him anyway. Uh, where was I? There's more criteria too. You can read the slides or I'll, I'll link the whole video in the description. So if you wanna check out the whole video, go ahead. And in addition to us flagging our content for children or not for children, YouTube is also going to unleash its famous machine learning algorithm to help with this problem, to help tag channels and locate any errors in channels. And I'm pretty sure their algorithm is literally just a dude named Al. Algorithm like strapped to a chair in a YouTube basement somewhere, furiously mashing a keyboard and affecting the monetization of millions of channels. But don't rely on our systems to set content for you. Like all automated systems, it's not perfect. Thanks, Laura or Lauren. It starts with an L, she's a YouTube representative. But uh, let's be real, it's not perfect, it's kind of an understatement. And look, I'm not gonna pretend that I know what's going on in the YouTube backend over there or 
if they're doing everything they could be to fix this problem, or if there's other options that they're not considering, like just turning off the collection of data for people who aren't logged in. That seems like it would solve a lot of problems. Anyway, I'm not sure what's going on there completely, but shifting away from YouTube and over to the FTC a little bit for a minute, I'm a little concerned about how gung-ho the FTC is about going after individual creators. Because there's this clip floating around, you might have seen it, it's from Chadtronic's Twitter, and it's this FTC guy, his name is Andrew Smith, I assume he joined the FTC after he didn't make the cut as a Matrix agent, and he's talking about how they're gonna go after YouTube creators, and he literally calls it shooting fish in a barrel, which is, which is a little unnerving as someone in that barrel. Here's a clip. The analogy that I think of is the expression about shooting fish in a barrel. YouTube is the barrel and the content creators are the fish. There will be consequences for content creators. We have a variety of tools at our disposal to cull through those 23 million channels and, and, in an expeditious way. So when we talk about aggressiveness, we are typically talking about civil penalties. Not only can we sue Google and YouTube for compliance with COPPA, but also individual channel owners and content creators. Thanks, Agent Smith. And look, I don't know what I should do here. I could flag my videos with Tyler in them as four kids. Um, but then I feel like YouTube's gonna look at my channel and be like, okay, this is a kid's channel and then hurt me in the algorithm. I already feel like I'm feeling some effects of that. Or I could, I could take those videos down. I could take those videos down and focus on more adult content. I mean, when I started this channel, I didn't have a kid and it was pretty adult, if, if I remember correctly. To infinity? And my balls? Ah yes, classic laser corn channel. Hey, that video got a few million views. Maybe I should go back to that. Uh, if you are a fan of the videos I do with my son Tyler, you might want to watch those now. Maybe I'll put together a little playlist. Check my playlist section. I think I still know how to do that. I haven't done a lot with playlists lately. But maybe I'll do a Tyler playlist because I can't guarantee those videos are gonna stay up there forever. I have one more shot with him. It's already shot. I might as well just put it up. I think I'm, I'm going to. But after that, uh, there will probably be a hiatus of Tyler on the channel and uh, the videos that are there may or may not remain. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. Uh, if you out there are personally looking for something you can do to help, there is a petition. I'm not sure how helpful it would be. You can also go leave comments directly for the FTC, like, hey, please don't target YouTubers that are making content for everyone, not just kids. Uh, it might help. Uh, so I'll leave links to the description for that. Please do it and leave your own comments. Let me know what you think about this story. All right, I'll see you all next time. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you wanna see me and Tyler playing Luigi's Mansion, might be your last chance, uh, go ahead and click right here. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. And if you wanna see what YouTube thinks is best for you, go ahead and click right over here. Okay, see ya.